Hey guys, I wanted to do a video and uh, show you all how to maybe find some old maps of your area. Uh, they've been beneficial to me. I found some really neat sites and some old history of my area that I didn't even know about. Um, I'm trying out this new screenshot um, application too uh, to show you what I'm doing on my screen. Anyway, just go to usgs.gov um, and it, when you're there, go to maps imagery and publications then it's kind of redundant if you go down here where it says historical topographical topographic map collection go there all right now you want to hit that again historic topographic map collection search okay now it'll take you you want to bookmark this page here uh, this is where you want to go uh, bookmark it and keep it in your favorites and all you got to do is go into states uh, mine's North Carolina all scales I'll leave that where it is and I live in Bryson City so if I wanted to look up my city uh, Bryson City and I wanted to search all scales and all the maps that they have and hit search and that comes up uh, and it shows uh, they've had some older ones and I don't know why they haven't showed up but anyway they had some older maps at one time hopefully they haven't put, took them off um, oh, my, my city was also named Charleston uh, years ago. I guess that's reason too. Anyway, these are some examples. Uh, here's the date on the map. It's 1961, and they reprinted them in different years. But if you want to look at that map, uh, go over here to download the GEO -O PDF. Click the download. Your computer, depending on where you're at, mine down here says, do you want to open or save? And if you want to save it, then hit save, and it'll save it wherever you want it to. If you want to just open it, just click that, and you can see it loading. Uh, it's a pretty good size file. They're usually about 7 to 15 megabytes. Um, they're they're high-quality PDF uh, maps. And what I do is I print, the, I get these and take the PDF file and take it to like a uh, um, surveyor or down at our county office and they will print these to scale the big large scale you know 18 by 24 or three the three foot size now you see this file showing up right here uh, North Carolina Bryson City you can double click that and it'll open it up in a PDF there we go and now this is you can scale this um, best way on the PDF is just of course blow it up you can go directly where you want to you can't move this mouse or move this map with your mouse see it just selects that when it comes up those little squares just click inside of them they'll disappear uh, you got to move your sidebars to get where you're going see here's my city Bryson City uh, of course I can double click on it nope can't do that I forgot you gotta you can scroll you can move your mouse roller bar on your mouse and um, there we go it'll it'll zoom it in a little or up and down Okay, depending on your mouse. Anyway, you got to zoom this one. Usually, I go to 200%. Uh, I usually go to about 200%. And then you see, this is our city now. Now, this map here, if you go down, this is a 1961 map. They are, there are earlier ones. Uh, you go down here to the bottom, and it tells you, uh, Bryce City, 1961. Uh, that's the day, of, that's when the map was printed. Uh, not or that's when the, the map was scaled and when it was taken the information and 1964 was when it was reprinted again so alright guys I figure out what I what happened is uh, I had searched for Bryson City and didn't, I forgot that they had put maps in as Bryson uh, so you see there's a map of 1936 1940 1941 there's a new one that I haven't downloaded uh, 1933 uh, I'll have to download that, but this 1936 map, um, there, there, sometimes there's not a lot of difference between the two different ones other than um, the topographical has changed or they've got some details in there, but still uh, there are buildings that change and you want to notate that. If you live in a bigger city where they do up, updated mapping a lot more back in those days, you'd have a lot more to look at and a lot of changes to see. I'm going to look at uh, some files that I have. Um, on my computer uh, some different ones you see here um, Alarca that's where I live in Alarca area Bryson City there's different ones with Fontana these are really neat the Judson and Proctor those are cities that uh, are no longer in existence they were uh, that lake that you saw me add in my previous videos 
Um, that lake is a man-made lake, and they built a dam, and when they did, it flooded these two areas. And uh, I found some relics from another place called Bushnell, uh, and that's neat because you can look that up. And I haven't looked up this map, but I do know that they have one uh, for Bushnell, a 1933 map. Ten years, 15 years after this was made, this map was made, the place was flooded and is no longer in existence. Uh, it's underwater most of the time, probably all the time now. Uh, so anyway, there's all kinds of things you can find out if you look. Um, you'll find a lot of history of your place. I hope they're useful to you. Uh, in just a second, I'll show you about overlapping. And, and uh, uh, I wanted to uh, show you how to, to look at the Google Maps and look at your map that you've got printed or on your computer and see the difference there. All right, guys. Appreciate you watching. Hey guys, before I left here and, and ended this video, I did want to show you how you can superimpose these, you might say, or get an idea uh, for any of those of you that's never done anything like this. This is a Google Maps, uh, the satellite view, not the Google Earth. The Google Earth wants to get it 3D and it kind of distorts it a little bit. You can try that, but I like the satellite view a little bit better with the streets. That is the map of Bryson City in 1961. Um, now there is an older map it's really good too but I'm just giving you this for an example this shows the main street if you can see where my little cursor is moving here that's the main street then you get it to scale as best you can which you can't get it exactly but you see the main street moving right through here so you see you know all the things the river uh, how the, the these two islands right here have changed they're, the one is completely gone nearly now so things like that change over the years and this is within 50 years um, but you see the streets uh, over here there's nothing in 1961 back in those days I think this is a 61 map I can't I think it is yeah 61 and uh, but you see here now we have our administration building, the clerk of court the administration building a, a Ford dealership a post office uh, and then a big parking area that the, the railroad now they have a tourist railroad Great Smoky Mountains Railroad all that is used now you know it's it, there's something there there's a there's a bank an EMS station and all this you know back in 61 there was nothing it was a gauging station uh, for the railroad so you know there's a lot of a lot of things that change with over the years that you may not ever knew about uh, there's churches here you know uh, and now if you look here I've looked at this church uh, now it's up here up a little bit closer uh, up the map now it's in the woods it's a daycare center and it's barely anything left of it so all kinds of different things that uh, I'm sorry it's a Presbyterian church right there on that corner there's another church over here that I found that was uh, it was a black church uh, black school too uh, back in the 30s 40s and 50s uh, now it's a daycare center so a lot of history that you don't even know about uh, maybe right now but if you investigate it uh, you'll find out so anyway there's a little idea of getting your scales and everything you can go up here and scale it down uh, up on the top it has your scales so you can find a lot of information a lot of history that you may not ever knew about uh, so anyway I just thought this might be informative help you guys out to find you some places to hunt and uh, go knocking on doors that's the best way to do it so alright guys I appreciate it I hope you enjoyed hope it was informative